ตาแนน We are trying to do all the experiments for the Time War C3 as as long as we have it because my best friend just lent it to me. Sorry if in the next few episodes I'll be doing mostly contents about the Time War C3 but. We have a time crunch on this grinder <laughs> because we will be giving this back soon. Today we are doing the slow feed test on the Time War C3 and we'll see if it's going to work on the C3 or not. If you're not familiar, I've been doing this um, multi-part series of the slow feed test. So the first one was the K6. I'll put the link here. So the K6, um, it has a very big impact on the microfine particles. So we managed to reduce the microfine particles of the K6 into half. And then our second um, part for the slow feed test was the Q-Air. And then Q-Air has an entirely different effect when we did the slow feed test on the Q-Air. Um, we totally changed the particle distribution of the Q-Air. So for the two different slow feed tests, um, we both managed to reduce the, the amount of microfine particles by 25%, but it has, it has a significant effect on the particle distribution as well. So for today's episode, we are um, doing the slow feed test on the Timor C3 and we'll see what happens, right? So let's start right away. So we need scale coffee. Groove sifter and dosing trays. For the last video that we used the Time War C3, we did a comparison between the uh, Easypresso Q Air versus the Time War C3 because they stand in the same um, they stand in the same price point. To simply to simply put, the setting on the Time War C3 is still the same as the 23 clicks on the Commandante. So we can start right away. Okay, so we're gonna time it. Wow. Okay. Um. So far, of all the grinders that we did the slow feed test on, um, the Timor C3 is the fastest, grinding the 15 gram worth coffee within 27 seconds. So the Timor C3 is the fastest by far. We're gonna load it onto the groove sifter, right? And then we're gonna time it again for 30 seconds. That is 6.2. Okay, now we're checking for the mid-size. Okay, that is 8.5. Here is the microfine particles. That is 0.2. In this test, we are using a different um, coffee bean. So this is the coffee that we normally use for all our tests. The particle distribution stayed the same, even the time to finish the 15 grams is um, practically the same. The Timor C3 is very consistent. Right, we're gonna do our first slow feed test. We're gonna weigh our coffee again, 15 grams. Okay, and then we're gonna time it. We finished 216. Now we're gonna load it onto the groove sifter. Right, and then we're gonna time it. 30 seconds. Let's wait for the boulders. Um, we have more boulders now. We have 7.8, the mid-size. Right, we have 7.2. Wow. Here is the here is the microfine particles. Yeah. So we have um So the scale did not read that. That is less than less than 0.1 of a gram. Very big impact on the Time War C3. 
the last and final um, slow feed method, which is the tilting action. Right, let's weigh 15 grams again. So we're gonna hold the grinder like that and then crank it this way. Then once in a while, we're gonna tilt it to slowly feed the coffee beans onto the burr set. Start timer. Right, that was one minute and 10 seconds. Onto the crew sifter again. We're gonna time it. Right, 30 seconds. Boulders. We have 7.2. Right, now for the midsize. We have 7.9. We're gonna measure for the microfine particles, but this time we're gonna use the ultra sensitive scale. In our first slow feed test, um, it did not register on the dye fluid microbalance, so we missed um, the actual figures of that. Look at the microfine particles of the second slow feed test. We have point so we have more microfine here. Let's check if the microbalance is going to is going to be able to read it. Ah, there, yes. We have 0.2. Right. So in conclusion, the Time More C3, the slow feed test works on the Time More C3. Um, it kind of works the same as the it kind of works the same as the Easy Presso Q Air where it balances out the boulders and the midsize. So if you want a more balanced cup, um, you can do the slow feed test, but I recommend just doing the tilting action instead of slowly putting in um, a couple of beans at a time because it takes it, it simply takes too long. But uh, maybe um, loading all the beans all at the same time and then doing the um, tilting action you can get a more balanced cup out of your um, brew. Uh, in the next videos, I'll be doing more slow feed tests on different grinders that I have. But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!